All right, what's up everybody? It is day three and our second full day here in paradise. As you can see, it's beautiful behind us. So if you guys haven't been following along, we're doing a full vlog of each day of our stay here at the Grand Fiesta Americana in Cancun. It's an all-inclusive resort and hotel and we got these wristbands right here. So we're gonna do a lot of eating, drinking, exploring all the amenities, restaurants, and activities in this hotel so follow us along we're about to go get breakfast right now it's actually a breakfast buffet so i mean everything is a buffet at this point because it's all inclusive so let's go check it out let's go all right so we got the bread right here got the salads some Salmon smoked cheese. Got the fresh fruit station right here. We need this for fiber. Need some fiber. Nice patio outside. This is where we ate for our Italian buffet. And we got the French toast station right here. Fresh waffles, pancakes, cereal, some yogurt parfaits over there. Right here. Got a fresh to order. Omelet station right here for the omelet du fromages. This is the yogurt section, smoothie section, juice section. So, for all the breakfast smoothies and drinks, pretty cool. Got the Mexican breakfast right here. First order looks like some antojitos, Mexican food. So, there's some champurado which is Mexican hot chocolate, fried platanos, and pumpkin. Some tamales, and some chicken broth with pasta. So we got the uh, steamed veggies and boiled eggs, beef strips, Mexican style refried beans, and scrambled eggs with chilaquiles in the back. Got the pool park and barbacoa. Bacon, hash browns, potatoes, or two sausages. Both, please, one of each. And we got the moletes, which is buns with cheese and beans. Gonna have to come back for these fresh tortillas, I mean, quesadillas right here. All right, y'all, so day three, we're back at the buffet. This is the breakfast buffet. This is served every morning. Yesterday, we got room service, but we thought to go in for the variety right now, so. Really nice venue. We came here for the Italian buffet. That was really cool as well. So every day there's a different type of buffet. So this is a breakfast buffet. Actually the breakfast buffet is every day, but today there's also the barbecue buffet. So stay tuned. We're gonna get some more buffet food in. But let's try out these um, beef strips right here. This look really good. Mmm. Very tender. Nice tomato sauce. Let's try this barbacoa. These are standouts for me. Usually when you get into the middle console where they're cooking the food fresh, those are where all the best breakfast items are, I noticed. It's just the Mexican breakfast items. Okay, that was a barbacoa. Nice, tender, good flavor. All the Mexican food here has great flavor. That's a pulled pork. Again, nice flavor, like a little tomatoey, spicy sauce. We got some scrambled eggs, sausage. You guys know what that tastes like. But uh, we're gonna have to go back for some more of the Mexican antojitos, the cravings. Okay, Leia got a smoothie from the freshly made smoothie bar. Yep. Let's see how this tastes. I asked for a strawberry banana smoothie with milk, but honestly, they could probably make you anything that you asked for. So. It's made fresh, right? Mm -hmm. Fresh to order. Mm -hmm. This is really good. It's like a, like a, a really fresh smoothie. I tried to load up on the fruits too, but like, you know, like a bunch of fruit. And then I got chilaquiles, eggs, a tamal. <laughs> Did you put that sausage on? <laughs> I didn't put sausage, but I guess that's sausage. I don't know, it sounded really good to me. It was good. It kind of reminds me of the huevos rancheros that we had yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was pretty good. It goes with eggs. How about the Hugo Verde? So lately, Leia has been saying that, well, we both have because we've been eating so much that we feel a bit bloated and let's just say, for lack of a better word, constipated so it's very important at these all-inclusive resorts to 
to get your fibers in. And we added some flax seeds and what? Granola? Chia seeds. Chia and seeds. And a bunch of green. Mm -hmm. And green stuff. So, gotta get the fibers in. Refreshing. Yeah, all this food here that we have so far at this all inclusive place is very good, very gourmet. Doesn't feel too heavy or oily at all. I feel like I could eat this food all day. And like I said, it sounds kind of weird to say this, but it doesn't taste like all inclusive food. It kind of tastes like just regular breakfast buffet that you'd get in Vegas or anywhere else. So, I'm about to load up on some more items to fuel us up for the rest of the day. But not too much because we still gotta look good for the beach. Let me try these antojitos for you guys. So, this is some chicken verde. Let's try it out. Mm. Very fresh, hot. You saw that she cooked the tortilla on the griddle right in front of us. Very fresh. It's good. Let's open up this tamale like a gift. The gift of a tamale. Looks nice and juicy. Oof. In Vietnam, we also have tamales as well. But they're made from like banana leaves. Let's try it out. Mm. Very, the meat is very moist in here. Pork, very moist. And very nice outer shell. Mm -hmm. It's a good fresh tamale. I would definitely load up and eat more if I was in a Vegas buffet, but you know, we're in Cancun. We're gonna hit the beach later and maybe do some kayaking, so stay tuned for that. Can't get too bloated, so see you guys at the beach. Again, beautiful views all around at any time of the day when you're eating. Beautiful. All right, y'all, so we are back at the beach. As you guys can see, it's not as beautiful and blue as yesterday, but it's still pretty good. Um, I guess this is what you get when going to, on low season. It's a bit cheaper, but you don't get beautiful weather all the time. But at least we experienced it yesterday, so probably gonna lounge here for a little bit. Probably go into the water, get some antojitos when we're ready, and sip on some more delicious slushies, margaritas, and mojitos. So, let's do it. So this is the beach lunch menu, pool menu. They bring it to you from the pool or at the beach. But yeah, we're gonna try to get something new and different every day to show you guys. Like I said, we're doing daily vlogs. I got this last time, the mix of each that was fire. We got the hot dogs yesterday too. We got some fish and chips wraps. We got hamburgers, tacos, hot dogs, quesadillas, and some pizzas. Pepperoni pizza. Spring rolls, wings, onion rings, salads, and Caribbean salads. Got some more items over here. and Alright, so this right here is the more important menu. I was looking for this yesterday because I only know a few drinks like margaritas and Miami Vices. But they have a bunch of cool exotic drinks here. Look at this menu. They got about everything. I'm definitely going to try something different today. I got a mojito yesterday too. But look guys, they have so many great drinks to choose from. And some more back here. It's a fresh antojito stall next to the beach. So we're at the beach over there, but because it started raining, we're by the pool bar right here, which is a plus for us because we went to grab some antojitos over there. I got two carne asada tostadas, Lay, I got a chicken sopes with two quesadillas and this is where they make the drinks fresh from us from scratch, for us from scratch. I love the antojito stalls because the food is just so fresh. Mm. Everything just comes together so perfectly. In that one big bite of the tostada fire. I'll say the main difference between the tostada and the tacos is that the tostada is hard shell, of course, and it's layered with refried beans and it has some of this white cheese on top. Ooh, Leia got a nice exotic drink. What is this? It's a coco tropical. It has cream of coco and rum. It kind of reminds me of a piña colada, but coconut instead. Coconut, nice. La Jolla. It's the La Jolla with tequila blanco, tequila cream, coconut rum, pineapple juice, and coconut cream. Let's try it out. I've never tried this drink out before. 
I'm very excited. All these drinks here are amazing. That's probably my favorite thing out of the all-inclusive hotels. They really know how to make their drinks. It's flames. Oh my goodness. I think this might have been my favorite drink here. It tastes like a margarita, but very creamy. And yeah, just very, very creamy. It must be the coconut cream. Almost tastes like a coconut pineapple ice cream with tequila. It's pretty good. How is the chicken sopas? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like the ham-breaded and then you can put salt pepper. That's really good. It's creamy. Creamy, huh? Yeah. Alright, so since today it was raining and kind of stormy, me and Leia seeked refuge under this big paloma at the Isla Contoy lunch restaurant. So we came here yesterday for dinner, but we're here for lunch. One of my favorite restaurants here so far, but I haven't been to all the restaurants yet, but this is a, the seafood restaurant. So what better way to eat seafood than right by the beach? So this is what you call lunch with the view. See that water behind there? That's some real island boy stuff. So yeah, I'm about to order and get some luncheon. So I know I just had a drink already, but we're at lunch and in Cancun, get unlimited cocktails and drinks so this is another isla cantoy i don't know why it is uh red but the other one was white but should be good let's try it out mm. this one is definitely very creamy very good but it has like a strawberry flavor refreshing it's like um strawberry banana coconut smoothie with a tequila kick yep Thank you. And same cocktail. Same cocktail. Our beachside lunch is here. Got the tropical seafood ceviche. Looks buzzing. Glazed shrimp cocktail and a New England style. Well, actually, Louisiana style clam chowder. Let's try it out, shall we? I had their ceviche by the beach. One of the best ceviches I've had. So. Let's try this one. Ooh, we got more food coming. So, it's my main dish. This is a fish of the day. catch of the day is the local fish made in a sick chocolate sauce i can't pronounce it but it kind of looks like a some type of red salsa mole I'll try out this ceviche so it has some shrimp in it some mix of ceviche radish avocado fish baby scallops and squid i'm gonna take a huge piece right here try it for you guys with all the fish got some chips right here to eat it with Mm. That's some good ceviche, if I do say so myself. Doesn't get much better than this. Fresh seafood by the beach, crystal clear blue waters. And yeah, guys, all the food here is bussing. Can't believe that this is all inclusive and all you could eat food right here. This is a interesting ceviche. It's like a Swedish sweet sauce on here. Good. Alright, so this is their local fish catch of the day with their special sauce. Let's try it out. Mm. Kind of has like a tangy, spicy taste to it. Very fresh. You know what it tastes like? Kind of tastes like a very soft catfish. Catfish and tilapia mix. This sauce is fire though. With the onions, bell peppers. I just love all the spices and the sauces they add to all the dishes. It really makes the flavors pop. Got some fresh greens for us, avocado, got the um, lettuce. We need the fibers. We've been eating so much, drinking so much. We need the fibers. So yeah, guys, this is one of their many restaurants, Isla Tanto. It's their seafood restaurant. So every time I'm here, I've got to opt for the seafood. It's very appropriate being right next to the waters, right here. Let's take a look to the right of my shoulders. It's tropical blue Caribbean waters. It's kind of stormy today, but still breathtaking views. This is what you call lunch with a view. Got a shrimp cocktail here. And I'm gonna put on a chip with some guac. That's fresh. That's good. Clam chowder. I didn't get it. Clams in there? As far as clam chowder goes, it's pretty good. Okay. I love shrimp cocktail. 
uncharged piece of Leia shrimp cocktail. Has some bits of avocado, huge pieces of shrimp. Gotta make sure I get both. Some avocado, some tomato juices. <laughs> All seafood here is amazing. Baja style fish tacos. Only seafood here, guys. Dip in some guac. Mm. Nice, crispy, crunchy fried fish. Battered, almost like beer battered. And layered with some cabbages and some spicy mayo aioli sauce. There's a nice kick to it. So, yeah. Alright y'all, so we are at one of their many pools right now and at each pool there is a swimmer bar so we're just gonna chill in the pool a bit and then we're gonna swim over there. There's some in-water stools and we're gonna sit there and get some exotic drinks for you guys. So come. Right there. Let's go get some drinks. Alright y'all, so we are at the swim up pool schools right here at the, uh, we're the only ones at this beach bar. It's kind of chilly right now, so we got a shot to warm us up. Can you check the Yeah, but I got the Anejo, so mine's just the fit. Alright. Cheers. Cheers. That's Centurion, that one's pretty smooth. We're experts at tequila now, because we did a tequila tasting yesterday. Alright, so I got my drink, the Caparina, at the swim-up pool bar. Cheers. I don't know how many drinks this is on our tour trip. This is probably my third drink of the day, the Caparina. Try it out. Refreshing. It tastes like um, kind of like a Vietnamese drink. Uh, it's called soda San Luis. It's like salt, like a salted lemonade, basically, with uh pickled kumquat. Kind of tastes like that, but this is a caffeine, so it's very lemony, citrusy, tropical drink. All the drinks here have been amazing. I'm gonna say that every time I take a drink, because that's like one of my favorite things about the all-inclusive resorts here in Mexico. They know how to make their cocktails. All right, guys, just came back from the pool. So we're just hanging out at the patio. This view, this hotel room suite view, doesn't get old guys. Caribbean blue waters. Even when it's a bit cloudy, still top notch views. So yeah guys, we're just hanging out in the room a little bit. Just came back from the pool and we're just having a little midday snack, a slice of cheesecake and some fruit before our dinner at the La Jolla Mexican restaurant. This is the La Jolla right here. Alright, let's try it out. Seems that we are the first one here. Very nice. Very nice vibes. Beautiful scenery. Nice. Very romantic vibes. Alright, so this is the nicest restaurant we've been to so far. It's called La Jolla. It is their pure Mexican restaurant. And this table looks very nicely decorated. Very romantic vibes. We're in the drapes right here. Covered. Very private. We're in the back of the restaurant. Seems like we're the first one here. 6 o'clock reservations. But, hey guys, when you're at um, the restaurants, you actually have to make a reservation in day advance. But, we haven't had any trouble making any reservations at any of the restaurants. But, this is definitely one of the nice ones so far, so I'm glad we're here. But start off with these banana plantain chips. I said this is the pumpkin seed salsa. That's really spicy, so it's very good. The spice definitely kicks, creeps up on you. Nice basket of bread too. But these um banana chips are really good and salty. I like these. And regular pico de gallo salsa. You know what that tastes like. Cheers. All right, so we asked them what the recommended drink was. We've had this before at the other place. It is fire. It's the tamarind margarita. Let's try it out. Ooh, it's 
like a margarita with a lemony zest, kind of sweet. If you guys know what tamarind tastes like, it tastes like a tamarind margarita. It's really good. It's just extra tangy and sweet. This because I love the haspoblanas, which is like a green chili, and then it has um, cheese, and it's a soup. So I bet if you've ever had um, chiles rellenos, it's kind of like that. This soup is gonna be like that, and it has corn. And it tastes delicious, just as I expected. This is a esquite, just the Mexican street corn, and it has the cotija cheese and some like chili. It's really good, and it's in a corn husk. Corn husk. version of the getting straight corn from the cart. So this is the pescado aguas chiles. It's the catch of the day. So it's their local fish with a bunch of herbs. I believe it has avocado, a lot of spices, cucumbers. It's kind of like a little fish pancake salad. Look at this. All right. Mm. Very fresh, lemony. All the seafood here. We're by the beach. We're by the shore. The water has been amazing. I've had a seafood dish here that I really didn't like. Except for that fish at room service, but that was because we had a late night. But <laughs> this is very fresh, a great refreshing appetizer. And also the fish is raw and is marinated in the lemon juice. I would like to compare this as like the Mexican version of sashimi. So it's like, um, instead of like that sweet soyish, glaze on the raw fish it's like a lemony herby touch it's good mole de olla, which was like a braised beef rib with um their mole sauce and a lot of other stuff i don't remember but the main thing is the braised beef with mole that's really good braised beef is really good I saw a lot of mole on the menu, so we made sure to get mole because it seems like that's what they specialize in. Uh, I actually wanted to get Leia's dish, which was the mole de olla, which is the braised short rib with black mole. She ordered that, so I made sure to get something else for variety, but let's try the mole de olla. Really excited to try this. this. Looks like there's some grilled onions on top. Breaks apart very well. Ooh, look at this. Steaming. Let's try it out. That short rib is very succulent, very juicy, tasty. Just falls apart and this grilled onion is kind of like thin crispy fries on top give it that extra texture, but this flavor comes from the mole. It's like, if you haven't had mole before, it's like a rich, sweet, kind of like a chocolatey taste. Okay, so let me try this duck confit, look at this. Ooh. See this? Yep. Love duck, extra fatty. Looks like there's these cheese crumbs on there. Oh, I can smell the crispy duck skin already. Wow. Mm. That is good. There's, there's deep fried on the outside. I don't know if it's deep fried, but it's very fried on the outside. The crispy duck skin when you bite in. It's almost like a hamburger meat because of how fatty it is. And this mole, it's very sweet, thick. Comes together very well with the duck confit. So glad I got this. Every bite is just delicious with this sweet mole. Their mole is really good here. Oh, 
these aromas and why did you choose? All right, y'all, so we just had wine tasting right now. It was a really cool experience. We learned a lot about Mexican wines. One big thing is that you can only get Mexican wines in Mexico. They don't import it because so many tourists come from around Mexico to try their wine that they basically sell out so much wine that they can't import it. So yeah, that was an amazing experience. Mexican wine, very fine. And yeah, guys, so that concludes our third day in paradise. Just had a pretty chill day, ate a lot. One thing, unfortunately, is that we didn't get to try the barbecue buffet. That looked really great, but the barbecue buffet lined up with our wine tasting experience, and we chose the wine tasting instead. And don't regret it. The wine was great, like I said. So, yeah, guys, watch our previous video in Cancun, and stay tuned for our next video in Paradise. But until then, please like this video, comment what you guys like about Cancun, and subscribe for more DVW vlogs.